Hello everyone, welcome back to uh, this episode here. I'm going to be re doing a field test update on the half inch variable speed hammer drill, um, which I'm just going to use as a drill, but with a, a high speed uh, steel uh, step drill. This one in particular here. Um, so I already made my mark right there. And I'm going to use uh, compressed air while I'm drilling at a high speed because, uh, as you see, some of these have already been uh, been burning. So, uh, wear the proper gear. I got a face shield on because uh, when I blow the uh, compressed air, all the stuff starts blowing in my face. So, all right, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and clamp this down. Uh, I don't want it to move around on me.
so I'm going to go ahead and finish off with the 3 8 uh, drill because uh, if I go any deeper it makes the hole here on this side bigger. So. giving time the compressor to charge up with air. Um, but I notice uh, as I'm cooling it down with the air, it, uh, it is a little bit easier to drill through. Uh, otherwise, I would have just been in spinning in circles. Alright, there you go. Uh, now these holes are a little larger, they're three, uh, three eighths instead of the uh, um, quarter inch because these are going to be the corners that are going to support this whole thing. Let me just clean this off a little bit. There you go. Um, an update to uh, to this. I would have changed the bit out, but uh, the whole point was to show that the uh, with the uh, high-speed uh, step drill and uh, compressed to air while you're blowing at the same time and drilling at a very high speed that. Uh, uh, it acts as a coolant to cool the step drill and the uh, material as well. And uh, otherwise, I think I would have just uh, burned out the, the step drill um, without any problems, and I would have just been spinning in circles. So, 
Anyways, uh, that's the field test update on that. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, thanks a lot. Bye.